Okay, I had to end that other stream and then restart it because of an issue with the stream key, but it should be good now. I think. Fingers crossed. Um, let me just make sure. Whoa. Okay, wait. Don't play that one. <laughs> but now I know that I'm super loud. Hang on. Should be quieter now. Hey, Casper. Just need to make sure um, volume's not too high on my microphone. I just plugged this one in, so I haven't really configured stuff yet. So um, let me know if this is too quiet or too loud. It's good? All right, I'm um, gonna start. Let me share this link on Twitter. Um, I'm just gonna say, come join my stream or something. Um, and then I'm gonna start, I'm gonna make some UGC accessories. Um, come join while I stream. I can't type right now. Um, there. All right, um, I kind of started on these last night. I need to import them into Studio and then just kind of adjust the sizes and stuff. I made this little workplace for you guys to join and test out accessories before I put them out. Here are some ones I've done, whatever, kind of cool. But I just want to make sure these kind of fit most head types and stuff like that. So um, let me export this one, export front OBJ. Um, and if you guys have any UGC ideas, I might be doing some, so feel free to drop some ideas. Oh, that is definitely the wrong mesh. Let's export it with the right name this time. Um, export it as, we'll call it, a uh, yellow hat. That's because what it is. Um, just have to go here. Here. Um, I can't really answer a lot of questions you guys have about um, stuff. I mean, I can answer like 3D modeling related questions, but if you have any questions about the program, um, I can't answer them just because. Thank you for the remark, by the way. Uh, this is like way down here. <laughs> Whatever, that should be fine. Actually, it'll go back down there for now. <laughs> um, I can't answer questions about the program just because I'm under an NDA and I don't want to maybe say something I shouldn't have or get in trouble. So you guys can ask me about hats and 3D modeling all day long, but if it's program specific, I just am not gonna answer those questions. Sorry guys. Um, so what I need to do is import each hat and then position it where I want it to be to fit on each character. Um, and, and the hard part is um, you need to rotate it to where, see I need to rotate this like this. Um, you need to position it to where it's going to fit a lot of different hair types because not everyone dresses the same as you on Roblox. So right now I'm just kind of positioning things properly. Um, that should be fine. And you got to make sure it's big enough too because I had it this big. But then I was like, well, that's not going to fit most hair types. So I made it a little bit bigger and wider. Um, yeah. Plugins. Now I use um, a tool called Asset Creator to create the accessory. So I just hit the that and then select the character and then select what type it is. So this is a hat and then there's the proportions and now the hat spawns up here. 
And all I need to do is create a thumbnail for it. So, um, I have a modeling question. How do I bevel things? Um, to bevel, like let's say you want to add a curb to the corner of this cube. You go into edit mode, so press tab. You're going to select whatever you want to bevel. So if you want to bevel this edge, you're going to select it and then just control B to bevel. As you guys can see, it bevels very like flat. So if you want it to have more of a curve to it, you just roll your middle mouse and just roll it however many times you want it to bevel. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, but that's how you bevel it. And then if you want to bevel a corner, so like a vertice right here, you're going to control, uh, it's control A or no, it's alt something. It's alt. Alt A, Control Shift, Alt Shift. Fuck, I don't know. Shift A. I'd like to pretend that I know what I'm doing. Oh no, I figured it out. It's Control Shift B. So to regularly bevel an edge, or yeah, it's gonna be Control B. And then if you want to do a little corner here, let's say you want to make a rock look chipped, it's Control Shift B. And then you can still use the roll your middle mouse thing. Um, that's beveling 101. You can also use bevel modifiers. Um, they're a little bit more intuitive for harder meshes, but I prefer doing it by hand. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay. Um, yeah, control shift B. Thank you. <laughs> I, I'm trying to remember what control A was for. I wonder what I even thought that was. Uh, should I move from 2.79 to 2.9? Yeah, you should. Um, I recently made the switch just because I got a new laptop and I just downloaded the latest version of Blender. It's pretty worth it. It's not too bad. If you know like basic Blender controls and stuff like that, it's not hard to make the switch. Coming from me who was stubborn and used it for about three years. Okay, here. Um, this is a thumbnail tool. So I'm going to set the thumbnail of the hat like this. And now once it pops up in the catalog, whenever it's approved, it's going to have that as the thumbnail. So now all I need to do is give it a proper name. So like orange, uh, bucket hat. And then um, just position it and people could try it on. These purple blocks you see are scripted to where anyone who joins the game can try on accessories. So um, here is, like I just duplicate one of these. And if you check out the code, you can see it applies the nearest accessory. So it checks if it's a hat and if it has a handle and then it just applies it or whatever. Um, nothing special. But now I can join the game and try it on. Have I had success selling your recent simulator maps? Yeah, everything that I've made has sold so far and I'm making a new one soon. Y'all see this Gucci bag I got? Y'all want to see a sneak peek of the new simulator map I'm working on? And the hat fits pretty well. Um, hopefully it gets approved by moderation and then goes on to the catalog. Um, I'm going to try on a hat, a different hair, just so I can test it with multiple hairs. Um, so there's one hair. Um, here is the Japanese map I told you I'd show you guys. This one I'm going to be selling for probably $250, $200. Um, it's not done, so don't judge it harshly. You're like, oh, she's selling that for $250? Once it's done, it'll be worth it. But here's kind of a preview. It's got some nice soft lighting, some glowing lights. Um, this is going to be the egg area when I'm finished, the portal area. I'm working on a nice arena over here, um, king of the hill area, and then going to fill up these with filler decorative items. But here's kind of the start of it, and I'm going to try to sell it for 250 ish Yeah. 200 250 um, Yeah. So that's the start of that. I'm still working on it. I haven't really had time. Um, going to restart. Um, and no, it's not done before y'all are like, 250 for that? Okay, now I'm going to test different hairs and just make sure that the accessory that I just made um, fits. 
Would I sell it for Robux? Um, yeah, probably, but I kind of prioritize USD offers first. Just because DevX takes so long. Here it is with this hat. That tells me that I should probably move it up a little bit, but maybe it's just this hair. So maybe I'll try a different hair too. Um, let me just try another. What's a popular hair accessory? Um, I would buy that for one million. Okay, buy it, please, please. <laughs> um, if you guys have any UGC ideas you want to see in the catalog, let me know. And if it's not already there, obviously, like don't tell me to make stuff that's already made. Um, because I'm always looking for ideas. Hang on, I have DoorDash. I ordered DoorDash. Okay, they're on their way. So if y'all see me munching down on Taco Bell in a little bit, don't be surprised. I'm warning you now. Uh, I'm just going to try this one now. Make my avatar as a shoulder pal. I don't think a lot of people would buy that. <laughs> I don't. Um. Oh, yeah. UGC hair and then best selling. Unblock me on Discord. I don't even know your Discord. I'm not even going to lie. Blocked. Okay, let's see. Who am I unblocking? <laughs> uh, oops. Awkward. That was an accident. Trust me. <laughs> I think this is a popular one. I'm going to try it. How did you learn modeling in Blender? Um, I started modeling in Blender about two years ago. And it started just because I really liked simulators and simulator pets and stuff like that. So I wanted to make my own with my friend Sam. From there, I just kind of kept practicing and practicing. And eventually, I could do stuff without even having to like reference other things. So really just keep pushing and be persistent and practicing. Um, here's the whole outfit. Do y'all want to see like an outfit I put together? Let me present you the fit idea, okay? Can I make a veil? I can't. Like the wedding veils, I'm not allowed to because that's classified as like role playing and dating items and they don't really want that. Um, let's see here. So here's the fit idea, okay? We want like a little green windbreaker moment. Not that green windbreaker. A fashionable one. <laughs> okay. Um, I had an idea in my head for a whole outfit to go with this, but it appears there's just like neon green stuff and I wanted something kind of more tame. Okay, let's see. Let's see if I can do it for my clothing. Uh, uh. This is so long. 2015. I've had this account for so long. Okay. <laughs> Here we are. Wait, let me, let me do this. I'm presenting y'all with an outfit idea. I'm going to wear my Gucci clothes. <laughs> Okay, I just swore, whoops, this mouse pad looks sick. It was only $10, um, it's from Five Below. It's like real popular in Florida, I don't know if it's anywhere else, but yeah, it was only five bucks. It's by Bunga, is that how you say it? Uh, how do you spell his name? I don't know, it's, it's only five dollars. Check DMs, hang on. That ain't, ain't drip notch up, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. What y'all saying? Saw it five below. Yeah, this mouse pad's really good. I got two. Um, okay, I'm not giving y'all the fit idea just because it's not really working out for me. But the concept was there. The concept. Let me put on like a more tame hair, okay? Hear me out. Hear me out. Is this ugly? Let me reset. Yo, my escape key just does not work. It just doesn't. Shut up, y'all. Start clowning me. Um, okay, so the fit idea. It's like 
these glasses, hear me out, right? We got a little, um, a little tactical bag moment, patchwork, you feel me? And then like a little bucket hat to tie it all together, right? Right? Did I lie? Or this fit not fire? Was it not fire? Somebody's iced out, period. I should make chains. Um, yeah, so that's the one I'm gonna submit that, that. And then those glasses, and then all these beanies that I made need to submit it as well. Oh, I'll probably do that now, actually. So I need to, oh God, okay. Um, so I think, okay, I have to hide these. There's like a process you gotta do. See, the thing is, you gotta submit these for moderation, just because people could submit, like, inappropriate things. So to avoid that, you have to kind of... What am I doing here? What did I even press? What did I press? Hey, Thomas. Um, yeah, so you have to submit stuff. Where's my food? Ooh, my Taco Bell's about to be here. Okay. You have to submit stuff, but you have to do it... Okay, let me just go to here. Probably. Oh my goodness. Someone made a template. Let me just ask in the UT chat. Watch my stream. <laughs> um, sorry, someone had, I saw it last night when I was scrolling through Discord. Um, it was like a, they had like the front view, the side view, but it's like a little Photoshop thing they had going on. I thought it was cool, but I guess like someone doesn't have it right now. But I kind of got to like screenshot this and then be like, hey, this isn't inappropriate, basically. I know y'all not trading in my chat. <laughs> Why do you use a color palette rather than baking your textures? I'm not using a color palette. <laughs> that is the pause. Because that is the not, <laughs> that is the right texture, I think. <laughs> I thought, okay, since I have, look, 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 let me explain. <laughs> I have this bag that I hand painted and it didn't turn out very well. But I clicked on this and went into edit mode and I thought that was the texture for the hat. <laughs> okay. Um, this is really bad. <laughs> um, yeah, I use color palettes for simple objects. Like, for example, if I'm making like a little, uh, let's say I'm making a tree, then I would just texture it brown. And then I wouldn't bake on a whole tree texture just because that's a lot of work for what I do. Um, how do I do this? Okay, I do this, right? Let me hide these. I do this, and then I just kind of like, oh, sh sh damn. Okay, then I, where the f is my, where's the thingy that lets me move it? <laughs> ah! Where is this? Yo, I'm too tired. I have not eaten today. Where's my Taco Bell? God damn it. Yes, please. Oh my gosh, thank you. Oh, I can't DM him. Awkward. Thank you, Martin. I knew I wasn't crazy. That's why you stay in two point. Like, how do I lose the thingy that lets me move it? Thank you for the amazing videos. This helped me. You're welcome. So of course, that's why I do it. I can't move the damn cursor. <laughs> We're gonna have to work on something else now, guys, because 
I can't even move my objects because my brain not working right now. Do y'all have any UGC suggestions? I just closed the wrong tab and I cannot read the chat right now, so please give me a moment because my brain is not working properly. I am so hungry, guys. I am so hungry. Oh, this person messaged me like, when are you posting your stuff? Okay. Okay, look at my DMs. Oh god. Let's look at my DMs. Please don't send me anything inappropriate. Actually, I'm just going to check this in private because I don't trust anyone. Oh, it's on Twitter. Okay. <sighs> Something like this. <laughs> that is huge. Has that been made before? Let me check. Someone suggested like a dollar sign chain. Um... I don't know. Chain, maybe? It's hard to like s search through the catalog. Look at how many chains have been made though. I don't want to like oversaturate the catalog. Everyone's making chains, but I guess they make them because they do well. I don't know. I'm new to this. Can y'all tell? Okay, I guess I gotta check. Um, unavailable too, maybe? Is there a gold chain on the catalog anywhere? Pretty sure it's been made. Um, is it a limited maybe? Sorry. I didn't mean to say gold chain. I meant to say dollar sign chain. Yeah. <laughs> um, let me just try this. Or I can try this too. This works sometimes. Um, bling necklace. Is this a thing? Limited accessory. See, I can't make that now. It was a Tix item. Good thing I tried that because the catalog did not want to show me any suggestions. But I could make mine like... No, I don't even want to like piss off the trade community because the second you make anything that's even remotely related to a random item everyone was like oh my god this is why i hate ugc like where but okay i'm not even gonna dabble around with that <laughs> i mean i can make a silver one. Oh nope there's a blue steel one my so i don't think it's allowed dang that sucks martin you get in trouble for making something ticks related. Um, I don't think I'm supposed to use, or I'm not supposed to use any Roblox branding. So they like own the rights to ticks, so I can't really do that. It's supposed to be like original stuff completely, but I don't even want to mess around with like, can I do this? Can I do that? Like, it's even questionable. I'm not even going to try it because it's not worth my time. Um, I, what, sh what else should I make? Does anyone have any ideas? Why did I click on YouTube? Uh, no, I sent you another version. Pause. I promise I'm gonna work to everyone just sitting here like, can she do something? Someone suggested like a, here I'll show y'all this, but would y'all buy that? <laughs> Make a mask with the Roblox Studio logo, and I, like I just said, I can't use Roblox branding. Yo, don't don't spam the chat. I can't do that. <laughs> Make the ring from the Lego characters. I can't. I can't use anything copyright, guys. Um. Jesus. Do bruh bruh box. What is bruh box? What is that? A boombox on the player's shoulder. Oh, I mean, around the ah, you guys, the guys are talking about you need a boombox. Oh my gosh, my food's here. Okay, guys, please don't leave while I go get food. Just tell me ideas. I promise I will literally be back in 30 seconds. Um, yeah.
Okay, I'm back. If y'all left, you're fake. <laughs> okay. Um, I have Taco Bell. They have fuel my brain juices, trust me. Either that or burn through them. Uh, am I allowed to make belts? No, that's not allowed, unfortunately. Graphics card is ahead. That's interesting. I was thinking about, um, I started kind of sketching the concept on my phone, but um, like a, a computer monitor is the player's head. I thought that would be interesting. Ooh, I don't know why I just clicked my email. <laughs> Please don't email me. <laughs> Okay. Can you make a gecko bag buddy? Make it sit on the shoulder. I love geckos. Um, first I have to learn what a gecko is. <laughs> but thank you for the donation. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Oh my gosh, can I? Oh my god, that hurt my ears so hard. Thank you. Um. <laughs> Yeah, I can make like a little gecko. That's cute. Y'all want a gecko? More styles of bandanas. <laughs> Before y'all say anything, I'm sure y'all did not know what a gecko was either. So stop. What do y'all want the pattern to be? Little green one, little orange one. I don't want to do like the wrong color, like it's a sick gecko color or something. Okay, I'm gonna work now, I promise. Sorry for everyone who's been sitting here waiting on me to do something. I'm working, I'm working. I think, <clears throat> cause, okay, actually I'll just do this. Um, I'm gonna use something like this to reference the body shape, like a top down view. These are cute. Which one's the pet one though? Cause I don't want to make like some exotic one that nobody has. Okay. This is cute. I'll do this one. I'm going to pull the reference over here. It's going to cover the chat. <laughs> and I'm going to get to work. Get, go, speed run. Let's go. If y'all have any questions, feel free to ask. I'll answer questions. Um, stop making me hungry now. Hey, that sounds like a personal problem to me. So this is like the little body. I'm so sorry if I screw up this anatomy. I just learned this exi existed a solid two minutes ago. Okay, I knew it geckos existed. I just didn't know what they looked like. I knew it was like a little lizard looking thing. And y'all probably gonna kill me for calling it a lizard. It's not a lizard. It's a reptile. 
Is that right? Sure. I don't know if I want to do it like that. I'll leave that down. There's a little tail moment, but it's going to be bigger. Kind of like, well. Okay, then let's kind of like cut this here. Oh my gosh, this is terrible. Okay, um, I'm gonna have to look at like a. Okay, first I'm gonna get the top down view kind of right. Um, okay, so it gets smaller towards the head, kind of like that. Um, proportion's not looking too hot though. Something like that probably works. I'm just gonna loop cut. No, I'm not. That's a bad idea. And then a head. Start kind of like. Okay. Before y'all say anything, I know it's not looking too hot right now. Y'all seeing it start to come together though? Okay, this is not, this is too far down up here. Something like that. Um, then I'm going to have to insert faces here, 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 and here. I present to you all the gecko. <laughs> Yo, I crack myself up sometimes. Average time spent making a UGC, probably an hour, two hours. But I can fly through stuff pretty fast. Why is it flat? It's not done! It is not done! Sorry for yelling. The topology is not going to be too hot. Okay, I think... <laughs> It looks like a flying squirrel. <laughs> Why does it look so bad? <laughs> Yo, the next person to say it looks like blank getting banned, period. <laughs> I'm trying to control Z and it's not. Oh. <laughs> Wait. Oh. All R? Oh, what did I do? What am I pressing? <laughs> Wait, let me just... Okay. This is where I was confident. <laughs> Did I just squish it? Okay. Everyone, be quiet. Let me focus. Okay, I'm gonna apply that modifier. Famous last words. Then the arms... Just do one arm, one, one little. Okay, okay, guys, I don't hate it. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna do limbs separately because that is so much easier, and then I'll just have to um, re top everything. Mirror. Okay, here's arm number one. Uh, let me add a little subdivision. Division. Fuck. I can't talk. <laughs> Fuck, I lost my reference. Should I do it off the top of my head? Okay, so the arms. Let me explain my thought process. I know y'all love hearing me think. Okay, the arms, they go... Okay, first of all, this is not the right position. Okay. Huh? Okay, so the arms. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Stop saying stuff. Okay. Here's the arms. <laughs> I'm working on it. 
I can't work live. <laughs> Make sure it's in the UGC limit. I know, you little butthole. I'm just kidding. You're not a butthole. <laughs> no, <laughs> he's got nubs like Patrick Star. <laughs> Um, how many fingers does it have? Five? Oh, God. <sighs> okay, I gotta think now. <sighs> how do I make five fingers out of three faces? Uh, I can cut here. Don't even judge me right now, guys. Don't even. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> Yo, I just had the funniest idea, but I think it's gonna work. Try to gecko. Get out of here, Katie. Thank you for the donation, though. <laughs> Yo, whoever. <laughs> Yo, whoever suggested this. <laughs> Look, he's cute. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm actually crying right now. There's tears coming from my eyes. Wait, the arms are supposed to go back? <laughs> okay. I'm just trying to work. Y'all hear my parents lecturing my sister in the background? Okay. Okay, let me... Shut up, guys. <laughs> guys, it looks like the reference, okay? I don't need this negative energy in my life right now. <laughs> Dang, he Bill. Shawty Bill, he ripped. God, wrong button. Wrong button, sir. Okay, now hear me out. The legs. <laughs> okay, this is how I make the legs. <laughs> I present to you a gecko. Such a cutie. Get out of here, Ryan. Get into it. Oh, shit. I present to you all nacho fries from Taco Bell. You inverted his hands. <laughs> um, if y'all are watching my stream, where do y'all come from? Oh my god, the cheese is dry! Okay. Um. Oh my god, the legs look the same as the arms. Why are y'all complaining? <laughs> you think? Okay, fine. I'll just make the toes smaller or shorter or something. I didn't mean where y'all from physically. I meant like Twitter, YouTube, Discord. <laughs> y'all be like, I'm from Canada. <laughs> Wait, I guess that's my fault. <laughs> Damn. My video is on the top of your For You page on TikTok. <laughs> Y'all cracking me up today, but I think it's because I 
Never mind, I can't say that on YouTube. Or in front of y'all, actually. Should I make this bigger? Don't they have little fat little finger ends? The suction cups? The lizard's not dead, guys. <laughs> it got Shrek ears for toes. Yo, why can't I select it? If y'all don't leave my freaking gecko alone, I'm gonna end the stream. I'm seriously. <laughs> okay. Look, okay. Y'all complaining now, but look. When I apply these modifiers, and this is combined, and then I set the shading to smooth, that's a pretty dang cute gecko. <laughs> it has human hands. <laughs> Human hands. <laughs> Yo, wait. Let me. I'm just gonna copy and paste these back hands. Oh, fuck. Look, it's so cute. Oh god, too many hands. Um, yeah, it's cute, or whatever. Look, now it needs just eyeballs, and then I think it's good. Oh god, uh, okay. See, it's coming along. We're making progress, y'all. We're making progress. If I look over at the chat and y'all be a mean, the stream's over. Someone said it has coronavirus hands. Yo, who said that? Who said that? Who said these hands look like they're banned? Someone please ban them from the chat. <laughs> okay, let me give him eyes. Okay, I want to give him big black eyes like this one. say anything yet <laughs> give him a top hat why stop spamming the chat stop spamming the chat yo where my chat mods at <sighs> look their eyes are kind of out right like that Okay, for real. If y'all keep spamming, I'm just gonna mute y'all. Oh god. Oh my gosh, time out. Y'all getting put in time out. Okay, okay, I get it. I get it. Ah! Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for that. If you spam the chat, your mom's a hoe. Okay, oh sh shoot. I pressed the wrong button. Tuesday in it. No. These are the eyelids, trust me. It's gonna look good. It's gonna look good. <laughs> I sometimes blow myself away by how bad my stuff looks. Okay. <clears throat> Don't want ASMR while I eat these nacho fries.
Oh, so they should kind of be like this. Hear me out. Y'all are praying on my downfall. But trust me, this is going to be the best thing I'll ever see. Just wait till I grow up. Okay. Now I'm just going to texture it and prove y'all all wrong. New material. Base color, image texture. Create a new image over here. It's got to be 256 by 256. The color, we'll just make a white. There we go. Gonna call it Let Go. No, Gecko Goes Petco. And then we go Image Texture, and then we just give it that texture, right? <clears throat> and it's applied there. So now, if I go to Texture Paint, and then I go to Texture Paint here. Oh, fuck, I forgot to unwrap it. Ha! 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 I hate unwrapping! Please hold while I lazily unwrap this gecko. Should I unwrap? Actually, okay, let's just do this. Actually, I'm not even mad about it. Oh, wait, Mark Seam. Don't say nothing about this unwrapping. I don't even want to be doing it in the first place. So y'all lucky I'm doing it. Period. I don't want to do this. Okay, I'll give the top hat a lizard. Back. I'll give the lizard a top hat. Please stop asking. I will give it a stupid top hat. I will. Please let me finish first. I'm giving it a top hat. Stop spamming the chat. I promise I'm making cooler accessories after this. Look how bad this topology is. Mark seam. Uh, God, kill me now. I'm just doing this. Marks. Oh shit, wrong button. Okay, I'm just gonna unwrap this. I don't even care. That's not even that bad. Let me just change a few things. Oh, that's just gonna UV editing. Eyeball, probably be bigger. I'll make the eyes extra cute. Okay, I don't even care anymore. These are all touching though, that's probably not good. But I don't even care. Okay, first we'll make the eyes. Uh, texture paint, there. Yeah. And there, we'll make the eyes a black color. Oh shoot, wrong button. Hello, hello paint bucket. Please make them black. There, and then I'll just like mirror. Oh, not mask, mirror. X, uh, let me use a white first. Yes, okay, so I'll just paint this eyeball cute little something, cute little something, something. Let me pull up in that picture of the gecko first. Okay, it's going in my reference over here. Y'all about to see my true artistry. Okay, so their eyes kind of look like this. <laughs> yes, I'll make it cuter. Oh, this one has cute eyes. Oh, I'll give it this eye. Okay, they got a little green going on here. Some, some, little, wrong button. It's all about trial and error. And then, let's grab this. And then, okay, let's do this. So 
So I'm just going to start with darker colors and then work my way into lighter ones. Just kind of like that. Maybe a little yellow. A little something, something. Just to color the eye. Then for finer details, I'm just going to go down. I'm just going to kind of... Uh, um, Hello? Oh, okay. I deselected it on accident. For finer details, I'm gonna kind of. <clears throat> it needs a black. For the eye part thing, kind of like this. Um, then I'm gonna have to soften it a lot. Um, then to make it kind of cute, we could do like a little something, you know. Um, probably like that. There's like some yellow. Let me soften this. <laughs> um probably want to rotate these eyes a little bit but for now it's okay next I'm just gonna do the skin for it um, I'm gonna do this all at once but let me go here okay now I could just kind of paint bucket give me a color Someone said, I really hate to admit, but that Corona hand sperm shaped big eye gecko is starting to look good. <laughs> oh my god. Y'all really doubted me. I'm about to prove all y'all wrong. So, this tone of it, I'm gonna do a little something. Ew, that's ugly. A little something. Oh, I'm gonna do one of those little yellow ones. Okay, I'm going to do like this, this, and then the bottom, they usually are white, like not completely white. Let me sample this and then just go lighter. Something like this. Oh, let me turn off symmetry. Duh. I'm stupid. Okay. A little something. Just kind of like that. A little cutie. A little cute little gecko. Like that. Um, this is looking bad. This, it needs to be a little rounder. It's really pointy. Let's do control to be. Actually, that's not a smart way of doing that. Hmm. Can I just bevel these two? I ruined the topology. Should have thought about this earlier, huh? I guess I could just bring the point in. <laughs> I don't know. I'll fix it, guys. Trust me. Um, they have cute little mouths. Let me go to. Okay, let me just work on the skin. I'm like, my mind's jumping from 12 different things at once right now. It's kind of making it hard for me to accomplish anything. So let's just focus on one thing at a time. The skin. 
Look, I'm gonna make one of these yellow ones. Um, their skin tone's kind of something like that, probably. Uh, this is too strong. Let's turn down the strength. Just kind of like a little glazed donut. We're just gonna drop a little little hints of it, you know, something like that. And then we'll have to go fix these little seams and stuff. Listen, I'm no gecko expert. Okay. Let me see. I should have made the eyes black, shouldn't I? I can change the color of them. Um, the tails usually have some little stripe thingy on them. Something, little something. Little, make this a little smaller. It should be more noticeable. Um, I'm gonna have to blend this out, smudge it maybe. Here's a little progress photo of the gecko y'all all doubted me on. Let me see what y'all guys are roasting me for in the comments. Should be light green. I'm gonna give him abs on his back. Actually, fine, I'll give him in the proper space. Yeah. This is not what you think, guys. Man's ripped. Fine, I'll give him a top hat. Oh, but I forgot to add the top hat when I unwrapped, so it's gonna be complicated, but that's okay. I give him a little top hat for y'all. It's Tuesday, isn't it? I'm literally not submitting this. Why is this unwrapping? 
Where is this unwrapping? I'm such a dummy dumb. Figured it out. All right, guys, are y'all happy? This is the get go. I do not think I will be submitting this. Um, but what if I make it for as a free model for y'all to have? Okay, maybe I will, I don't know. I'm gonna save it and come back to it later. And then, I don't know what I wanna work on. Um, What should I make next? Oh, Katie. I just, okay, I might publish it. The thing is, I just don't feel like um, continuing working on it right now. It's just kind of like a lot. So if I finish the texture later on, I'll post it, which I might. But uh, right now, I just need a break from working on it, if it makes sense. Thank you for the donation, though. I can refund it if you want. Do a plushie of myself. Whoa. Alex and Skylar Production said, make a gecko skin and boots. We just meant for, went from making the animal to making animal products. That is so... <coughs> oh my god. I'm joking. Oh my god. <coughs> Fuck. Damn near kill myself. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Dies of choking. It's not COVID. I just choked on a Taco Bell burrito. <laughs> God, that killed me. <laughs> Bye. Okay, what should I make, guys? <laughs> oh my God, I need water.
Sorry guys, I almost choked to death. <laughs> Y'all thought I died. <coughs> oh my gosh. Bye, Jamie. <coughs> oh my god, it still hurts. <coughs> Yo, it choked on water. I mean, uh, taco. Can y'all stop spamming? <clears throat> Why y'all doing that? What does Claybo stand for? My last name. <laughs> That's literally my last name. Oh my god. I'm not. I don't have COVID, guys. I choked on a taco. <clears throat> Make Among Us. Oh, no, I can't do that. It's copyrighted. Red, you gotta stop, bro. <clears throat> um, what should I make next, guys? Jesus, you slamming keys? No, it's because my microphone's literally like this far away from my uh, stuff. <clears throat> I'm gonna check for UGC concepts. People usually make sheets of like sketches they want to see made. Hmm. Cosmic Nate, that's already one. I thought of it though. <clears throat> I want to make something cute. Let me just look like. If y'all see anything you like, let me know. I can make little totes, maybe a bandana, a rose pendant necklace. That's cute. Would y'all like a chain with a rose on it? <clears throat> Pinterest? I've never had good luck with Pinterest. You're good, Mert. <clears throat> Let me just look and see what I want personally. <clears throat> Hard to find inspiration sometimes. I 
I'll look it up. What is that? I don't know what that is, Alex and Skyler. Needs more bandas, bandanas. Okay. Um. See, I was looking at cool bandana styles the other day. Oh, uh, sorry. <clears throat> and I was thinking about making a 90s styled one. Um. I like the way Tupac wears his. I like the 90s style, so like, the way J-Lo would wear hers, stuff like that. Something like this, but I don't know. I need to find kind of how it should be worn, you know? Red, you gotta stop, bro. I'm just gonna ban you from the stream if you don't stop. <clears throat> oh, gecko. Okay. See, I looked it up and it looked like some religion thing. Why not make something that you will use? See, I was trying. Like, you can see that I saved some bandana textures to my stuff the other day. But I just wasn't really happy with my attempts, you know? So, still kind of... I don't know. Maybe I'll try a hair. Do y'all have any hairstyles that you want made? <clears throat> Can you show us from new to pro how you sell your assets, please? Um, I just kind of sell them on Twitter because I have a good enough following. If you don't have a following yet, just use hashtags like hashtag Roblox dev, hashtag Roblox, stuff like that. Um, as well as like follow a bunch of developers and people and just try to market yourself in that aspect. Thanks for subscribing. Um, I think I'm just going to tackle one of these. Usually I get more inspiration like once I start on something. I like palm beanies, but I don't know if I'd personally wear them. Oh my god, my nose is so itchy. I could do a tote or a backpack. Put like a little hat. You sound like you have a cold. No, I just choked on a taco a few minutes ago. I'm not even kidding. You're trying to be quirky. I literally choked on a taco and you can go back on the stream and watch me choke on a taco. Y'all want to learn how to make chains? Um, I saw this trick on subscribe since I made low poly lighting. Thanks. Thanks for subscribing. Um, oh, I saw a good video on it too and I forgot how it worked. This is way too many. Let's do... How long have I been on Blender or using Blender? Um, uh, two, three years now, around there. I don't know what to make. It's really demotivating just sitting here like, oh, what should I make, guys? I usually scroll through like my favorite shops and stuff like that for inspiration, but not working on too well. Yeah. 
Y'all want flat bill caps on the catalog? I can make a little tote bag. Um, I can't make watches, um, because it's not supported yet. Um, frog tote bag, that'd be cute. I'll try something. I had an idea the other day as well, so maybe I'll take a stab at it. We'll do a frog bucket hat and a frog bat bag. <sighs> I've been feeling weird lately. Like I've had motivation, but no ideas, if that makes sense. And then when I start something, I just like, I'm not as excited about it as I used to be. But like, I'm not complaining. I still have a great time doing what I do. It's just kind of weird, weird combination, you know? Um, that pack. Also, it's like, um, I have like a good following, you know? But I see people with like the same amount as me getting like a million times more like praise and attention and stuff like that. And it's not really a big deal to me. It's just kind of like, oh, why not me? Um,. Not that I want all that, it's just weird kind of looking at it from my perspective. I'm literally rambling while making this bag. I've just had a weird week. Um, that's kind of a good shape. Let's make this smooth. That's fine. Um... So that's a 45, and then I kind of want these edges to be sharp, shade sharp, mark sharp, yeah, because I'm going to put a little pocket there. Something like that's probably fine. Um... Like art block, yeah, that makes that makes sense. Getting tired of doing the same things, yeah, that could be it too. Um, I enjoy what I do. Don't get me wrong. It's just like kind of repetitive sometimes, because like I take commissions, for example. Everybody wants simulators, and everybody wants pets, and everyone wants weapons, and it's just like the same stuff over and over and over again. And it's hard as an artist because your mind's so creative, and you just want to make a million different things, or you want to do it your way, and it's like people are picky, and they're like, no, I want it this way, I want it this way. Well, it's like, dude, I'm the artist, can I please just have the creative freedom to be able to do that? So it's like overbearing clients with a mix of art block, and a yeah, it's just... But it's okay. I usually, like, if I just put my mind to something, I can uh, tackle whatever it is. So, for example, if I have a client and I don't really feel like finishing the commission, I can just kind of power through it. It's just a little tedious sometimes, and that's kind of how I've been feeling lately. Still wouldn't change it for a world. Um, I, two years ago, I was 16. 
um, sophomore in high school. I'm a senior now. But I had to get a job, and I worked at Panera Bread. Um, and it was just, like, miserable. I had, like, a lame boss, and they overworked me, stuff like that. So um, it's kind of like a motivator to me. Like, I would never go back to an hourly job or... Like, I don't enjoy having a boss. And so it's like, okay, I can keep doing this if I want money. And then obviously, you know, college and stuff like that. This is not going to be my thing forever. But it's just kind of motivating to me as like a teenager that this is such a better job than what most people do. So that kind of motivates me in a way because I don't ever want to go back to that position. But at the same time, since I kind of manage myself and do stuff on my own, it's hard to allow myself to take breaks and stuff like that. Um, so that's something I have to adjust to a lot. But overall, it's pretty fun. Pretty fun. Um, I'm making little eyes. Join that together. Turn on auto smooth again. I'm going to put a little zipper through here somewhere. Am I an official UGC creator? Yeah, I am. This looks like a pig. You had around uh, $3,000, right? Have you ever tried to make a game on your own? Um, my pay kind of varies um, monthly because... It depends on how many commissions and stuff I take that month. So if I have a slow month, I'm going to be honest, I only make like probably $500 a month. But if I'm really grinding and I'm doing a lot and stuff like that, I can make anywhere from two to $3,000 a month. Um, which is pretty good. And have I made my own games? Yes, I'm trying and I'm kind of working on my own game right now, but it's kind of demotivating me as well. Just because, like, I, it's hard to get funding for it, one, and two, it's just kind of like, yeah, just a lot to juggle a bunch of different things. Um, but yes, I have worked on my own games, and I have had successful games on my own before. I just kind of want to prioritize UGC right now since I just got into the program. Uh, two to three thousand dollars a month. Uh, is that really enough to sustain yourself? Uh, I'm currently in high school, and I don't have any like financial burdens or anything like that. Like I don't have to pay bills or anything like that. So yes, it's more than enough for a high schooler. Um, but in the future, obviously, when I start doing college and stuff like that, it's either gonna have to increase or I'm gonna have to get another job in order to kind of pay off a lot of stuff. But it's also a matter of, you know, am I working hard enough that month, too, just because I'm so, like, freelance and stuff like that. Can help me. Feel free to commission me. I'm not asking for handouts, though. I'm not that person. Of course. Y'all support me plenty, everyone watching. Like, I appreciate that a lot. That's all the support, you know, I need. This is so far apart, the eyes.
Oh my god, these are so bad. Oh, I really don't feel like doing this right now. Uh... been here since albert made that video thanks for subscribing appreciate it yeah albert's so cool i've recently met a lot of cool youtubers i was talking to tofu the other day um is it russo russo i don't know how to pronounce his name uh this guy he's really cool talks um a lot of cool people like that's such a fortunate part of being like where i am do some modeling for my map. I was thinking about doing that. Um, if you guys don't mind, I'm going to work on my map a little bit. Um, it's still going to be 3D modeling. It's just going to be a little bit different. Um, yeah. We'll break from the uh, UGC stuff. Yo, who's that verified person? Thanks for joining the stream. You just want to learn? Okay, I'll explain a little bit. This is um, a mesh. It's not parts. What kind of funding do I need for my game? Um, Just kind of like ads for the first day, really. Or for like a big release. Um, what should I add to this? Just taking a little break and working on something else. Kind of clear my mind a little bit. Um, I don't know why I'm typing in caps, but that is okay. I wanted to make some of these little lamps to kind of scatter around the map. Let me type in outdoor. I could do something like this, real stylized. I can explain my thought process for the simulator maps. I do have a lot of like footage of me making them. My biggest purchase, I bought my girlfriend a car. <laughs> That was um, last month, two months ago. She just needed a little something. Um, other big purchases include a laptop for portable design stuff, um, my current setup, and other, other things. <laughs> Food, probably. Uh, pause. How do I sell my map so quickly? Um, I'm just fortunate enough to have like a good following, so it's kind of easier for me to sell things. But if you find that you're not having a lot of luck, I'd recommend using like Roblox hashtags on Twitter. So like Roblox Dev, Roblox Art, follow a bunch of artists, maybe even get someone to retweet your stuff, get the word out. But you really just got to market yourself and advertise yourself. You can try Hidden Developers. That's a good community. Um, just kind of find your little niche and it'll sell easier. I'm just fortunate enough. Like I've been grinding for so long that I have a good amount of followers. And a lot of them are developers. So it's easier to find people actually looking for them. But it makes sense if you're like a smaller account and, you know, it's kind of harder to sell stuff. But just like don't give up. Um, you got to just keep on trying, really.
Uh, one moment, and I'll look over questions again. what I meant to do. Right, let's do the color. Way too Ten's good. Group that. You can add some barrels, bird cages to your map next. Sure. Um, shortcuts for Blender, all the buttons you press when modeling, please. I think there's an extension for that. Does anyone know what it's called? The hardest part for making a simulator map is kind of just ideas really so like I can usually I just start by making like paths and stuff like that and then I'm like okay I got the paths I need to fill them up so then I'll add lamps right okay I got lamps but this section's really empty so now I gotta sit here and think okay what's something unique I can put over here so it's kind of just like the filler items that you got to think about that make it a little bit harder you know so that's kind of what I struggle with a little more can I show us how much robux I've made this month probably not a lot I don't think I've made a lot, plus I haven't been paid by someone yet. Past month I've made 500,000. That's not a lot. Past year I've made 8,305 something. That's decent. I make more on PayPal than I do. Past week I haven't made anything. Um, yeah, it's decent, but not a lot. Not bad though. I mean, yeah, but it's like, I know from like your guys' perspective, it's like, what? 500,000 is not a lot. But like, I, I have to cash it out. One and two, like it's my livelihood. So it's like, let me do the math for you. 500,000 times 0 0.0035. That's $1,700 a month, which is like not very good. If you have an apartment that, that like, that covers rent and maybe a few utilities, you know? So it's it's not really good, but fortunately I'm a teenager with a disposable income. But um, if, it, if it were my livelihood and I was older and had actual expenses, that would be a little bit concerning. So I'm working to get to a place where it's not that bad, you know? And don't let that demotivate you guys. Like, you guys are doing great. It's just, like, I have particular goals for myself. So it's not good to my standards. I'm sure it's great to y'all's. However, insert a part and lose it.
Made about 2,500 this month, trying to save for my first car. That's awesome. Congratulations. You grinding, aren't you? What car are you looking at? This is not as tall as I was hoping it'd be. Let me play around with this a little bit. Volkswagen, are you um are you in the US? From the UK? Okay. Yeah, usually it's kind of frowned upon to get uh, foreign cars in the US. Like, not foreign cars, but kind of like Volkswagen, stuff like that. BMWs. They're nice and all, but it's hard to get replacement parts for them. Which is why I was about to be like, oh, I wouldn't really get that. But that seems to be nice for you. This is not UGC. Oh, I know. If you're just joining the stream, I'm sorry. Um, I worked on UGC for about an hour. If you want to go back on the stream, I just needed a little break for a few minutes. So, sorry about that. Taller, which is nice. What else should I make? Like, what other decorative accessories can y'all think of? How to mass import, I see your map builds, you don't do it. Mass import meshes, yeah I do. Um, but I prefer just doing it the way I do it because I can make tweaks to stuff if needed. So that's kind of why I do it the way I do. I'll leave that there probably. Your $400 map sold, yes it did. I'm gonna add a little pathway from here over here, just kind of fill in these details one and two it kind of makes sense Let me teach y'all how to make a tree fest. Am I a boy or a girl? I'm a girl. I just dress kind of more masculine. Um, let me show y'all how to make a tree real fast in Blender. This is like a more advanced one, but it's an easy way of doing it. Advanced looking tree. We're going to start with a plane and we're going to delete all the vertices except one. So we're left with that one. 
You can't really see it, but it is there, I promise. Next, we're going to use E to extrude. First, select the vertice. Yes. Now, extrude it out. And we're just going to extrude it out in the shape that we want our tree. So, I'm going to do a bonsai tree. So, it's going to kind of curl. Whatever. And it's going to have a lot of branches that expand out. Let me pull up a reference. A bonsai tree. Yeah, so they kind of curl over whatever. Oh, sorry. Back was acting up. Yeah, you make it curl around, do the shape of your tree. Add branches, so keep extruding it out for the branches. You can kind of visualize it. I do maybe a branch that comes out here a little bit. More branches. You guys kind of catching how I'm doing this. Maybe one right there. And once you're happy with the shape of your tree, a little something like this, right? We're gonna go to add, add a modifier. Then just add a skin modifier and it fills in the tree for you. To change the size of the stuff, so let's say I want the tree to be way thicker at the bottom, I'm gonna go into wireframe and I'm gonna select those two vertices like this. I'm going to use Alt-A to scale the vertices, just like that. Um, you might have to rotate some stuff once you confirm the modifier or whatever, but you can kind of play around with the size and the way your tree looks from here. You guys are kind of seeing how I'm doing it. But it's a really easy way to create low poly trees quickly, especially detailed ones, you know? Hopefully that taught you guys a little neat trick, you know? Did anybody already know that? Or no? A shop where you can buy skills slash power? Yeah, maybe I'll add another shop to help a little bit. I'm planning on adding a little gazebo too. Tutorial on keys and Blender, like popular keybinds. Um, I could probably do that. I need an editor for my channel if anybody knows how to edit videos well. I've seen tutorials on this, but you get lost. What part you get lost on? Pretty sure there's an add-on I can do for showing my keybinds, but I'm not sure what it is. So if you guys can figure it out for me, I will add it so you guys can learn from me. My dog.
bamboo, cherry blossom leaves, pond with lily pads and candles around them. Um, some animals like sheep or frogs. Those are good ideas. Thank you. I'm going to add a few more filler trees. Maybe some terrain. That's way too bright. Something like that's probably fine. Maybe a little brighter on the wood. That would be good. Japanese paper lanterns dangling. Yeah, I'll have to look that up. I'm going to use some of these trees to kind of cover the pathway a little bit. That way it's just a bit more immersive for players walking through the paths and such. Like that. It's pretty good. I'm going to add some uh, lighter shades of trees as well, such as green ones. As well as more terrain. I don't really want to cover the whole map in trees, you know? I don't know. It's hard finding a nice balance. What do simulators commonly have? I've kind of got like a cell and a shop area. I've got a king of the hill area. I've got an arena over here. I just don't know what else to add, you know? Does anyone have any ideas? Brush tool? Yeah, I like it, but it's kind of buggy. So I use it for like grass and stuff like that, but anything else I just kind of like don't. Those water fountains are neat. How big do I make maps? Usually a thousand by a thousand. Should I just add more buildings? like just decorative not even a part of the you know I'll make a smaller version too. I'll just kind of scatter them. It'll look like a village type thing once it's done. And that way the background area is kind of filled more, but it's not filled with just like terrain and random, you know. I'm gonna add um, maybe a Tory gate and then like a gazebo. move this back a bit I'm gonna add some assorted like logs and brickwork and stuff like that maybe even change the size of some of these make them smaller what simulator is this about it's not um anything in particular it's um it's a it's 
I'm just selling it. So like, I'm just going to build the map and sell the map. I'm not actually making a game. It's up to whoever to make the game however they want, you know? If that makes sense. Um, yeah, you can, Nikki Studio. Um, good advice I have for anybody looking to do similar things as me is don't stop until you're proud of it. So right now, like, it looks good, but it's not really something I'd be like, oh, yeah, I made this. This is awesome. It's just something I kind of make and sell. And I don't ever want to feel that way about stuff that I'm selling to people. So I just kind of keep working on these maps for hours on end until I'm personally satisfied with it. Um, yeah, if you're not proud of your work, then don't sell it, you know? That's just how I see it. How much am I selling it for? Um, I haven't really thought of a nice price window yet. I was thinking maybe $200, but I don't know if that's really fair, like if it's overpriced or whatever. So I'm just going to play it by ear and see how I feel about it. Um, I'll check that out after the stream, guys. I don't really want to click links um, to videos on the stream because I can get copy striked and then um, they would just take the video down and stuff like that. What am I charging for games right now? Um, I haven't really been taking custom like uh, requests or anything like that, but if I were to, it would probably be about $200 for something. Do we, f do we like these lanterns being in the sky or should I just take them down? Take him down. Have I sold any big maps yet? Yeah, I've sold three big maps the past week. So, not too bad. I had... So this transparency to one. Um, sorry. Can I please help you import Robloxes? Show up, please help. Um, there's a lot of things you could be doing wrong. Um. Try, so the mesh shows up gray and you put a texture on it. Is that what the problem is? I'm not sure what the problem is. Hang on, I'm just gonna kind of sort these better. Follow bought it on Roblox? That's strange. Map looks beautiful, thank you. 
Please say Kaka. Why you keep saying that? Um. Sorry, I'm kind of researching the little architecture. I could add a little bridge somewhere. I think that would be a nice addition. It's kind of cold in my room right now. I'll add some crates and barrels and such. I just want to keep the simulator feel too. I don't want to decorate it so much that it doesn't even feel like a simulator anymore, you know? What do you guys think of the direction that I'm kind of taking it right now? I'm going to make another building variation too and delete some of these. I'm just going to use a placeholder to kind of plot out where I want to put other buildings. Maybe one here and then a larger one over here to kind of fill space. This will be a cell area. I need to think of something clever to put here. <sighs> Add an Easter egg. I don't know. It's honestly my fave of the maps you've shown recently. Thank you. Add a waterfall. I could do that. What do I use for inspiration? Yeah, I use um, Pinterest. I use Google. I use like everything I can find really. Um, I look at people on Twitter's work. Usually just any and everything I can that inspires me. And once I'm at a certain point where I'm like inspired, I don't really need anything anymore. It's just kind of like it flows out of me, if that makes sense. Um, it just takes me a little bit of studying and getting used to whatever I'm working on to get to that point. Why are you spammy, bro? You're going to get muted. Sorry. Can't, can't be spamming up the chat when I'm trying to chill and just talk to people. Um, I'm looking for chat moderators as well as moderators in my Discord server. So if that interests any of you, just go ahead and get in touch with me on Discord. Um, I think you can find the link in the description or in one of my video descriptions or something. If not, I'll just drop the link in a little bit when I'm done with this little area. Also, I'm gonna take a quick little break after this too. Get some water and chill out for a few minutes. Who emailed me? <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so funny. Someone emailed me, boy, unmute me. I muted someone on the stream. That is hilarious, whoever did that. I'm gonna put a little waterfall here, like you. I'm going to add cool particles and stuff to make it look more natural, but it's going to be something like this. And then add a few rocks at the top to kind of sell the look, you know? Yeah, thanks for showing the link, Dark. Appreciate it. You're the real one. All right, everybody watching. Um, this is a work in progress. Don't judge it. Um, I am going to take a little water break and um, just chill for a few minutes. So I'm going to be about 10 minutes probably. It's 3.08 right now. I'll be back in 3.18. Um... In the meantime, everybody just chill for a few minutes and 
Um, maybe y'all go get a drink of water and stuff too. So yeah, don't leave. Just kind of chill and we'll be back. I've literally no idea why the stream messed up for a second there, but we should be good. Let me know in the chat if it kind of cut off or if it's still there for you.
Okay, I'm back. Can y'all hear that music? Can y'all hear music right now? <coughs> ah, um, I don't know. It was supposed to play music, but apparently not. Let me try this. Is that better? It might be overwhelming. That should be probably be good. Okay, um, pawn, some stepping stones. Yeah, that's a good idea. Sorry, I know a lot of you are trying to, like, talk to me right now. I've got, like, 12 different people saying, check your DMs, check this, check this. I will, I promise. I just, uh, I'm going to stream. And then after my stream, I always go and check everything that I missed during the stream. So, if your message doesn't get looked at right now, just know that it will get looked at. And I'll try to respond if I can, you know? Just a little bit busy, a little busy body. Hope that's okay. Let me copy this. This is. Um, how much is a fair price for a map? Um, it kind of varies for a lot of people, you know. Uh, it just kind of depends on your skill set and you know a bunch of different things. So. Also need some waterfall like rays. This seems to be bigger, like way bigger. There's so many different size points on here. Bye, right, thanks for watching. So, I uh, mean, dang, so many different people. Maybe make the particles white. I think I'll make them just lighter again. Something like that's gonna be okay. It just doesn't look realistic. I need um, are they called rays? Ray or beam? Beam, 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 beam. beam, beam. Okay, it's either a ray or a beam. What is it called? 
Um, do 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 pause because I need to go to my other map and figure out what they're called. The sci-fi map I made the other day. These little shits. God, let me just copy one at this point. So just copy this whole little God and close you. Okay. Let's see what the frick I can do with these. Delete. And delete. Ah, frick. Delete. Delete. Okay. So now we got this. So this will be the top. Let's just kind of flip this around. Um, gotta go here. It's called a beam. I thought. Okay, let's twist this the right way. This is very disorienting. Okay. Hello, how's your day for so far? How much am I gonna sell this map for? Um, my day's pretty good, and I plan on selling the map for probably two hundred dollars. Two hundred USC. I don't know yet. Nothing official. What am I doing? why it's so warped there's that this should be there this is strange okay okay um, I can change the speed I think somewhere out there that's probably more realistic something like that it's pretty good for a waterfall. And I just bring it around here. I can rotate it just like that. Sell it for one dollar. Dang, y'all think it's worth one dollar only? If I'm using this fancy little beam thing, then I'll just refrain from the Particles, probably. Should I just get rid of the particles then? Yeah, probably. And then I can make this a little neon and then something like that. Almost good. What is this? Oh, interesting. Um, okay.
having problems with Roblox Studio, it might be down. You can check the down detector or just usually Twitter people will talk about it. For the line outside of it. Oh, that's just the texture. I can't really control that unless I completely replace the texture, which I don't really want to do. I'm going to scatter some rocks throughout here. I'm going to add some poles and other things. When is um, I Make Your Maps Day coming out? You know, it's the Discord server. Um, I'm not sure yet, just because I have to edit it. So. How long have I been making maps? Uh, two or three years now. A little bit of time. Let me put one of these little rock paths going up to it as well. Should I make some floating obstacles? Like um, little terrain things to jump on. Okay, this cell has got to either change or go because I'm not really feeling it, you know? I don't really know what to do with it though. Anyone have any ideas for the cell? I mean, it makes sense. I just, I need to decorate it more, you know? What games do I work for? Currently, I don't work for any big projects. I just kind of solo everything. When I forgot to put a spawn, I think. Yeah. Let me go put some spawns around so I can kind of test it and walk around a little. Um, I don't do much scripting for anybody asking. What's up, Mega? So here's kind of the map. Everyone wants to preview it a little. And you gotta think about most people have speed and like other things, so it's not just gonna be like a huge, you know. How much would I sell it for? How much do you guys think I should sell it for? I have the cartoony animation, I think. Oh, I said that too low. I don't think it would sell for $135, unfortunately. I'm gonna make the jump a little higher. We'll 
just to go ahead and do it. Can you make a UGC guide videos for Blender for beginners? Um, yeah, I can. Um, I plan on making more UGC videos anyways because those were some of my most popular ones. So, yes. What else is the map missing? It's a thing. What am I currently working on? I'm just finishing this map. Clouds, that's a good idea. I could probably add some clouds. <sighs> My mask video. I can probably remake it, be a little more clear. Sorry you didn't understand though. Um, a, 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 to answer your question, I kind of answered it in my update video, um, but that series is going to have to be put on pause while I prioritize the UGC program, just because I kind of just got into it, and I want to make sure my priorities are kind of straight, but it will continue probably later January or early February at the latest. Sorry about that. Are you that kid that played Case Clicker? Um, I'm a developer for Case Clicker. Um, yeah, I could integrate that into streams. Like if y'all want me to build anything. It's just kind of like, um, you know, the point of making a video is kind of one, to monetize and two, so more people can see it, you know? So if I do stuff on streams only, then everyone who didn't watch the stream kind of misses out on that knowledge and stuff like that. And it's kind of like, oh man, I wish I could have came, you know. So it's like, I like showing as many people as possible. But yeah, I could, um, if you guys want me to sh teach you how to make anything in particular, I could teach how to make that. clouds. Um, have I made a video on the lighting I'm using for this map? No, it's kind of just a mixture of the lighting I've used before as well as some atmosphere effects. You just gotta kind of play around to achieve the effect that I have. I can do a tutorial on it um, if you guys want. I've seen a lot of people ask about it so I know the lighting is very hard to kind of get down right. How long did it take you to get into UGC? About a year of trying to get into the program. I finally got in. How much for this app with 10 more above islands? You know, I had someone ask me about the um, sci-fi map and they wanted me to add islands and stuff. 
and I kind of just didn't want to one because like that uh, the whole point of me doing these pre-made ones is so I can have complete creative freedom and I don't really want anyone to tell me what to do if that makes sense um so I'm kind of like I don't want to add things you know I'll do revisions obviously if your map needs it but I don't want to add a bunch of different islands and make a whole game for you basically um, so I'm just trying to sell the base map as it is. Gosh, my shoulders are killing me right now. Let me change the colors of these. I get where you're coming from. I mean, if I were a map of the artist, uh, be free to be honest. I like how this map's going on. Thank you. I don't. I I want to complete this spawn area and call the day on this map probably. <sighs> yeah, exactly. Vanish. It's not hard at all. Um, it's just really time consuming and boring. <laughs> Does anyone know how I should do this spawn area? Oh, I know what I'm going to do. Never mind. No suggestions. I've got it. I'm going to do a little something, something. Like this. shoulder pain right now. I got into a car accident earlier this year. I've just had bad back pain ever since. And no, I was not driving anything like that. I'm okay.
Should I add um, signs that say sell and shop and stuff like that? Also, to everyone saying you can't hear me talking, I just wasn't talking. I was kind of focusing for a few minutes. Sorry about that. Yeah, I should. Should it be text signs, so 3D, or should it just be um, UIs? The map looks amazing. Thank you so much, Cheese Gaming. I like your username. That's funny. Put some of them things around the map, the gazebos. Just like probably here. And then like, I could do one here. Just a little decorative. Um, okay, I'll do 3D. First, Step is to find a font that you like. Font. What's that website for fonts that's really good? Mm, I think it might be Define. I need a real cartoony looking one. Anyone know any good fonts? I think like Luckiest Guy is a good one. The font, that's what I said. God, I'm about to download a friggin' virus. Japanese looking font? I don't know. Let me check. I just don't want it to be super like, hang on. I just don't want to take away from the simulator aspect worrying too much about fitting a certain style, you know? These are all in Japanese, so probably not my best bet. Keyboard click sounds, yeah, it's because my mic's like two, two inches away from my keyboard. I have to download the font for um, Blender. I'll show you guys a cool trick once I find it. Trusted. Oh God, no virus, no virus. No virus, let's go. Hopefully. Okay, so now I add mesh, or no, object, something. I add text, add text, there we go. Um, and I changed the text to what I just downloaded. So let me just go here, uh, open up the font that I just downloaded. I'm gonna make it 3D. I'm gonna show you guys how to do custom fonts in 3D. So you just click right here on the regular folder and then open up a font and it changes your blender text to that. Um, so I'm gonna call it shop for one. And what I like about this is it's more customizable than the Roblox one. So for example, if I want my text to be curved, I can add a circle or a curve and I can do text on curve and something like that. And it'll curve my text for me. Stuff like that. It's pretty cool. And you could do it with any font versus um, the Roblox stuff that only has like one font or two fonts, whatever. I was just trying to play around with that, but I don't really want it to be curved.
it add any thickness you want you can use the solidify modifier yeah that's a good way to do it or I sometimes just extrude it out because it's easier object convert to actually let me duplicate this and convert this one Oh, I converted to the wrong thing. Yep, I get it. There we go. Object convert to mesh. Where'd it go? There. Okay. I'll try the solidify modifier. Just warm curved mesh in order to apply constructive modifiers. That's literally what I did. Object transform. Convert. Oh, I converted it to a curve. Oh my goodness. That is so dumb of me. Shoulder pain. Where should I put the shop? Maybe I'll do just a little like here. Or should I just not? I know shoulder pain be like. Should I even mess around with these signs? I could do it up there. I don't know why I'm not feeling it. Let's do this. I'll just do something like that. Uh, put it in PC um, I would but the thing is I'm gonna be selling the map and I don't really know what purpose the person who buys it is gonna be so for example what if they want the game to be a boxing game with a Japanese map well I've done and added a ninja in PC so it doesn't really make sense you know so I kind of just want to steer clear of adding like really specific things and just keep it kind of broad for anyone to customize I hope that makes sense Where will I sell it? I'm going to sell the map on Twitter. If y'all are interested in buying, follow me on Twitter and shoot me a DM when I post about it. I'm sorry this stream's not really about UGC. If anyone joined late, I did UGC earlier in the stream, but I got really tired. So this is kind of me taking a break and just doing what I feel like doing, which is working on my map. <sighs> Burnout. <laughs> Uh, 
Oh, those Japanese like bong things with their I don't know what they're called. You hit him. How much money is it? Um I think I'm gonna do two fifty, two hundred dollars. A gong, not a bong. <laughs> That's funny. I can't believe I got the two mixed up. Make the cell darker? I could. I could. It's neon though, so I wonder if making the neon darker. That does make it m more easy to read. I will just reply this again. <laughs> um, this area looks kind of empty. I kind of wanted to make some of these scattered around the map. Just like obstacles to jump on, stuff like that. Is that a good idea or is that kind of lame? A snail NPC? Why would I make a snail? The stream's kind of dying. Let me show y'all something. It went from 95 to 40. <laughs> Am I being that boring right now, guys? Face cam? Oh, I thought my face cam was on. That's so weird. Um, whoops. I mean, you can't really see me. Oh, well, y'all can see my hand. My webcam, I'm still kind of working on that. I have a green screen in my closet somewhere, but I just haven't set it up, nor have I set up proper lighting. Can y'all see me even? That's my wallet. Look, y'all complain about my microphone. It's literally this far away from my keyboard, so that's why it's so loud. That should be fine. Gosh. I don't really look very presentable today, so y'all get the keyboard action. Thanks for subscribing me our place. Appreciate it. A river stream going through the map. Yeah, I probably, if I wanted to do that though, I should have done it way earlier on because it's so hard to like terraform the whole map at this stage, you know? So maybe my next map, I'll kind of try something with a river, you know? Oh my goodness, thank you all for subscribing. Appreciate it. Descriptor. What else should I add? I'm honestly kind of like about to finalize things and just sell the map. Does anybody have any last minute ideas before I just sell it? Or do y'all not think it's done? King of the Hills here. It's um over here. Some trees bigger, some trees smaller, so it feels nicer. Yeah, I can play around with tree sizes. Why not? Let's make this one smaller. This one bigger. This one smaller. That one's fine. I just don't want to be overwhelming with the trees. Mushrooms? I could add some mushrooms. You guys think I should? 
flowers. Oh. I don't want it. I don't know what I'd, I'd have gone to, though. Just be kind of randomly placed, you know? Flowers are so tedious to make because it's like if I put too much, it looks ugly. If I put too little, it looks ugly. I'd rather just dabble around with grass than even touch the flower department. <laughs> Mushrooms. Should I add mushrooms? Y'all don't have to sp spam the chat, I promise. I'm reading. Um, petals on the ground under the trees would be amazing. I can try to make, like, let's see. Six, six, like that, super. What should I eat for dinner, guys? I'm going to leave soon with my girlfriend and go get dinner. Giant soup bowl. That's just offensive. <laughs> right? Is that stereotypical? This ain't Kung Fu Panda. Gotta go sleep. Have a good night, Joshua. Thanks for watching. Is that building parts or just a mesh? It's a mixture of mesh. Like, uh, it's like a bunch of different meshes together. Dang, Joshua. Five in the morning. Thanks for watching. Spaghetti. Y'all are just not giving good ideas right now. Some of y'all, anyways. Okay, so we'll do those as flower petals. Or, um, the, the, the petals from the, the trees. The, oh God, I can't think straight right now. Just let me demonstrate rather than, um... So what do I have open over here? Nothing. Wow, I'm hurt. <laughs> Someone says stop simping. <laughs> Someone said, wait, do you have a girlfriend? <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh God, please don't crash studio. That would be very disappointing. Should these kind of glow? Or should I just leave them regular? Should they be regular and not glow? Is Jalen open for commissions? Yeah, she's open for commissions. She's been trying to get more. Glow, y'all said, not that color though. Don't judge the LGBT community dies aesthetically also and bisexual. I like the dies aesthetically. Yeah. What he said. I don't know if they should glow. Maybe I just shouldn't put as many. I'll put some under this tree maybe. Too bright? Yeah, probably. Let me just select all the ones that I already did. 
I think I'm just going to change them to not glow. Forgot to do the portals. I think I might just grab a copy of the portals and change them around a little bit. Ow, God, back pain. Ugh. If anyone buys this map, I'd recommend swapping out these portals. Swapping, that's what I meant to say. Um, just because I don't really like the way that they look. They're kind of basic, but a lot of people use them. Or this style, should I say. Good. Add game pass boards. Okay. Actually, I'm going to make better looking later boards just because like, I don't want to sell something I'm not happy with. Here's some game pass boards to go by the portals. Because you got to sell stuff, right? Can y'all just go to sleep? <laughs> wow. You can have vines coming down the portals. I think I'm just going to swap them out for better portals that I did before. Um, I think it was this map. I've been studying so many simulator maps trying to get it right. I do want sushi. That sounds delicious. Whoever suggested that. I think it was Joshua. I'll do these portals. Maybe I'll leave in. for a second. Do we like these portals better or the other portals? Yellow, green, blue. I'll 
I'll just put two on the ends of each side. Okay. Copy of Ninja Love Legends 2. I don't even know what that is. Isn't um, that game? Sorry. Isn't that game sci fi? This is literally Japanese themed. Right? Turn the portals in the corner and make it look less awkward. Oh yeah, good idea actually. Duh. Thank you. The spacing could be a little better over here. Um, should I submit the game and then you guys come test with me and give ideas and feedback? You guys can join in game. Oh, sorry, I need to crack my back. Back pain. <laughs> okay. Last time I published my game, someone literally stole a copy of it. So please don't copy my game. That'd be great. Oh shit. Did y'all see that on Twitter? How someone was like being a jerk and like stealing my map and stuff like that. Um, putting the link in the chat. It's going to go private afterwards anyways. It should be published correctly. Let me double check. Oh, damn. 
damn this shoulder pain. Oh, y'all are in. Feel free to give feedback. I know some proportions are kind of bigger than I kind of would like them to be, but you know, what can you do? Rip chat bubbles, yeah. Jeez, let me friend requests. She read my chat. Um, dang, y'all rich. You rich. Where y'all getting all these limiteds from? UGC buddies. Oh, that's where he got the limited from. <laughs> What? Oh, you can play. I'm about to end it. I'm about to leave with Jalen. $50 avatar. Jeez. Um, yeah, that's pretty much everything. I need to go leave and eat dinner with my girlfriend and kind of stuff like that. So I'm going to be posting this map on my twitter if anyone wants to buy it how much okay wait let's go back to uh youtube for a minute everybody in the chat because i need advice on how i want to price this um what i should sell it for why is there collision issues right here um i will have to fix this i've no could it be the shop sign i'll fix whatever those collision issues are but how much usd should i sell it for I'm just going to turn all of this to collide off. And now test. 350, 300. $100. What am I colliding with here? Oh, I bet it's the house. That's not very good. Um, no, it's not actually. Ooh, maybe it is this. Hmm. Yeah, I'll have to look into this because I think it's this big mesh. Yeah, it is. But I think it might just be this bottom one. So I might be able to just do this. Fingers crossed. <laughs> no, I'll have to fix it later. I'll have to re-import and export and stuff like that. Let me make sure it's a house though. Let's turn off collision on this one. It's still there, even though you can collide with the house. So it's either the shop or the bamboo or something. So I can leave this on. Let's set all these little props to can collide. 150 or $200 should be good. See, I would, but my other maps, which were lower quality than this, sold for 200 bucks. So I think this one could go for more. Why is the collision glitchy? I literally just turned it off. Oh, do you think it could be... Hmm. 
It's the shop sign. I just turned off the collision for that though. Literally just turned it off. One of his bounce box don't even go up that high. Let me try this. Let's see if it still persists. Oh, it is the particles. You are so right. It has to be. You are so smart. Thank you, binder board. Oh my goodness, why didn't I even think of that? Man's just solved my whole career. Bless you, honestly. Please work now. My man! He fixed it. Well, helped fix it. Bless. Shout out to Binder Board. So smart, literally. Okay. Um, yeah, I think I'll sell it for a million. Let me make this one in pink. Okay. All right, um, I'll post on Twitter whatever price I decide to sell it for. Thank you guys for watching the stream. There's like been 50 to 100 of y'all the whole stream, so I appreciate it. Um, join my Discord. I'll probably stream tomorrow. Um, yeah, that's all. I don't know what else to say.